It happens this early, is it, Ashley? Yeah, kind of amazing to think early October we were at 100 degrees. Yes. Now we're talking highs in the 30s, <laughs> only about 30 days later. It's yeah. really wild the weather we've had between October and November, and this is winter. These are the temperatures we generally experience late January into February. Right now, seasonable for the most part. 60s across the board, Anniston, Gadsden, and Tuscaloosa. A bit cooler in Hamilton. That cooler air is sneaking into the northwest edge of our viewing area, plus a bit of rainfall, so that's going to drop those temperatures ever so slightly. This is the start of the wet weather, but more rain is on the way later on tonight. Most of the rain right now north of that 2059 corridor. We do have a freeze warning in place for the majority of our viewing area. Now, remember, freeze warning doesn't just get issued just because there's freezing temperatures. This has to do more with the plants, the people, the pets. So make sure to cover the pipes tonight. Bring in those little pups if you can and be sure to um, check on the older uh, folks, especially make sure that heat's on because this temperatures, although they're dropping tonight, it gets even colder into Wednesday morning. So there's still some time to take those proper precautions right now. 60s again from Alexander City to Tuscaloosa, some 50s up towards Coleman and Hamilton, but winds are really beginning to pick up to our west where that cold front is. Shreveport, Shreveport winds at 22 miles per hour, 23 mile per hour winds over in Memphis. That will play a very large part in our story as we move into tomorrow. Even though Alabama winds are light right now, we've got this cold air fenced in back to our west. Five degrees in Big Mart, Bismarck, 16 degrees in Omaha with 26 in Oklahoma City. Add in those winds upwards of 20 miles per hour. It feels like zero in Omaha feels like 10 degrees in Oklahoma City. Look at the contrast between that 66 in Birmingham and that 10 degrees in Oklahoma City. Let's talk rainfall. Let's talk wintry mix tomorrow morning. Cold front moves in overnight tonight by 9 to 10 o'clock. Temperatures will already start falling just a little bit by 11 p.m. already in the 30s in Hamilton. 40s in Birmingham, still close to 60 in Alexander City because that front it will move just to our southeast after midnight. Could already see a little bit of changeover to our north. Not a lot of this will stick. The ground is just far too warm from today. I don't expect any accumulation, but we could hear a little bit of sleet falling overnight tonight. 1 a.m. Coleman to Jasper. By 2 o'clock, that is going to be closer to that I-22 corridor. By 3 a.m. from Gadsden to Asheville. Maybe a, a little bit of um, action in Birmingham back towards Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa, and then by 4 to 5 a.m. we could see a little bit of redevelopment east of I-65 from Anniston over towards Talladega. Again, I don't think that this is going to be overly problematic, but just something to keep an eye on tomorrow. 8 o'clock, temperatures in the 20s, winds really begin picking up, highs tomorrow stay in the 30s. Check this out, and with those winds at upwards of 20 to 30 miles per hour, these 30 degree temperatures will feel more like the 20s and even upper teens and get ready for it because even Wednesday morning is going to be colder. We'll be waking up to temperatures in the 20s again with those feels like temperatures in the teens by midweek. A little rebound in temperatures towards the end of the week and then landing closer to 60 by Saturday and Sunday. And that is a look at your storm team seven day forecast. Jack.